Hello guys, it's Matt here from Boss Tutorials, and today I'm going to be showing you a plugin for After Effects, and uh, this plugin is called Trap Code Form. It is a red giant plugin, so um, yeah, I'll just show you here. Okay, so this is a little intro I made. It's nothing much, but you see that all those like green particle strings and stuff. That's what Form does. It does stuff like that. And you can make shapes out of it and everything. And it's just all the customization you can do. It's amazing. It really is. So you see it just moves around. Like it has a mind of its own. You don't tell it where to go. It just moves. And then see here I start to go through it. I like zoom into it. And this part's cool because you see like all the little individual particles. That looks pretty awesome. So, um, then after that, it comes out here, and it says, pretty sick intro, bro. But yeah. It's not rendered, so it's really crappy quality. You'll also notice that I have a red X across the screen. That's because I have the demo for it, and, um, if you would like to buy the full thing, just go to the Trap Code website. Um, or the Red Giant website, there will be a link to get the full thing in the description, so I'll put it down there for you guys. Um, so yeah. So this is just going to be the basics of it, you know, some of the controls, how to use it and stuff. So let's get started. I'm just going to go to a new project. Okay. So I'm going to make a new composition. Call it form. There we go. Okay, so now what I'm going to do is after you have the plugin downloaded and installed, I'm not going to show you how to do that, but you can see another video for that, or it's pretty basic. You can probably do it by yourself, but, you know, it's just installation and stuff. So I'm going to go to here, and I'm going to search up trap code, one word. Um, no, nothing. Okay, I'll try form down here there it is it's under trap code I don't know why it didn't work but yeah once you grab it whoops oh yeah sorry guys first I have to put in a new solid so I'll do that dark gray solid okay so you're gonna drag form onto the solid and this is what you'll start with so let's just Okay, so this is what it looks like. Why? Okay, anyway. Yeah, guys, this is what it looks like. It's like... It's a few panels of the trap code form thing. It's... I don't know how many panels it is. It's like three or something. Yeah, I don't know why it's not changing my view. But, um, yeah, so you'll start with just a few of these. Um, you can choose the amount. So I'm just going to here, and I'm going to go to base form. Okay, so here's all of these basic settings. You can choose box, grid, box strings, so that they're just straight lines. That just pushes the particle closer together for the strings. You can do spheres like that. So I'll just keep it at spheres, sure. Uh, I can change the size, so that's the width there. And I can change the... Uh, that's the height, I guess. And Z is the depth. So I'll make Z bigger. Okay, so what I got here, this is pretty cool already. Um, so yeah, if I just zoom in a bit here... No, you can't see it. But anyways, so what I have is three spheres. This one, and then this one inside it, and then that one inside it. So just so I can kind of look around for the intro, I'm going to go to Layer, New, and I'll select New Camera. Yeah, it'll be my Camera 1. Um, so guys, this is just like the basics. You know, I'm not doing too, anything too advanced here right now. 
Um, but, you know, if you kind of get past this, this is just showing you a bit of how it works and what you can do with it. But, uh, there's like lots of different tutorials for how to do it expert stuff with it and it's really cool so position I'll, I can move it around here let's see let's see different angles of it and stuff that's the side of it it looks very long that way okay so I'm just gonna go this way and I can tilt it up to so that's flying under it but I'm gonna use this one and I'm gonna fly into the sphere so there you guys can see that this one okay. right here so that's pretty cool like you can look at that you can zoom in more so that looks pretty awesome so I think I'm just gonna keep it here okay yeah actually I'm gonna zoom it out and then for the actual video I'll zoom it in through the spheres okay so you can do this um back here oops one sec guy what's with all these phone calls anyways <laughs> so yeah now I'm here um so now I'm just gonna go back into the trap code dark gray solid there we go okay so so this is my base form this is just you know the basics I'm not messing with it too much if I change that it just changes the center you know where it is I'll leave it there though. Okay. Um, now what I'll do, I'll just put this back in here. Um, so particle. I'll go into here. Here you can change a lot of stuff too. If you want... Okay, I don't know what that does. Oh, this is the sphere feather. Okay. So see all these little spheres that make it? These are the particles. This is the feather for them. So if I... Whoops, not that. If I go to my camera here, I go point of interest and zoom in a bit. I'll just zoom in. Okay, so see these particles? They are not very feathered. You can see that. They're just like complete spheres right now because I have the feather on zero. When I turn it up, that's what it does. See, it kind of softens the edges. That looks kind of cool. I'll keep it at that. Size. Change the size of the spheres. Okay, guys, so... I'm gonna zoom in. So right now what I'm doing is just changing the position of the camera so where it actually is in the 3D world in After Effects that I've created. Um, anyway, I'll go back to here. So that's that. Um, you can change the color of the particles too. So if I want them to be like red, or actually I'll make them like an electric blue color. Like, uh, there you go. That's good. So, yeah, that looks really cool now. Um, so I'll turn that off. So there's just tons of stuff that you can mess around with, you know, visibility. You make it far vanish, so the further ones, they are less visible and stuff. I don't really need to, but kaleidoscope, I don't like that. <laughs> Spherical fear, or field, I mean. <laughs> you can turn this on what it does is it does like a it's like a sphere and it pushes the particles away from the center I don't like using it cuz well you know it confuses me a bit but I'll just leave it um, sphere 2 as well so that one changes the second one but again you don't need to do this too much it's kind of fun to mess with it, but I don't want to do too much for this video. Um, uh, if you go to layer maps, this is when a lot of stuff is fun too. If you go to displacement, you can change the movement of things and stuff. Uh, well, I'll put that away. Wait. Um, so yeah, disperse. This spreads them out. Um, rotate kind of explains itself. Uh, um, this. So okay, yeah, you can mess around with that. There's also um, uh, where is it? Here, disperse and twist. This one's cool. Disperse. 
spread them out like that. So what I'll do, so this is kind of fun to mess with though, because you can, I'll just show you something pretty quick that you can do, but if you time the disperse and time the twist, and then you go forward a bit, Okay, so then I will keep the time on both. Um, I'll just change it like a little bit, like hardly even noticeable. Okay, now if I go back, you can see the keyframe changed it. So this was the original, and then it goes to this. And now what I wanted to do is just quickly explode. So I'm just going to go ahead a bit more, and then, boom. It explodes. I don't want it to go everywhere, because I kind of want to be able to see all the particles together still. And then I'll turn the twist up. See, it doesn't do too much when they're dispersed a lot, but if I put them together again, you will see... Oops. You'll see, yeah, see there? They're all twisted up. So, yeah, that's kind of cool. Um, I'll disperse them out again. Uh, let's go to like a hundred there. Okay, whatever. Now, if I go back and look at this keyframe, I'll just render quickly. But you see it kind of slowly moves from the beginning. And then all of a sudden, it just goes, wait for it, boom, and then it just explodes and starts twisting all over the place. So yeah, there's a lot of stuff that you can do with it. It's pretty awesome. Um, again, though, there's, you know, that's just one example. Um, if I go to, okay, so if I turn the disperse back down to... Zero or one. Let's put it at zero. Okay. Now, see, I'm at an awkward angle here, but put the twist down at zero too. Okay. Now you see that the twist, what it does is it actually does twist it. So that's cool. Um, but the, there is, there's so much. There's audio react. So you can change them what they do when they hear audio. If they hear like a loud beat, they'll go all vibrate or something. You can change that, mess around with that. It makes it really cool and a lot of fun to do too. You know, everything kind of explains itself, but there is just so much. So um, fractal field. So the flow, what it does is it makes it move over time, so it automatically moves in a direction. Um, it's kind of cool, but you don't have to change too much if you don't want to. So, uh, yeah, that's pretty much it, guys. Um, thanks for watching this video. Uh, comment, rate, subscribe. And, uh, yeah, thanks for everything. You've watched the past few tutorials. I hope you found them helpful. My last one was a Minecraft tutorial for, um, how to make a, uh, server for Minecraft. Uh, I got quite a bit of views pretty fast on that one, so thanks for watching that and helping me out and everything. Um, you really have been a ton of help. Thanks for it all. I hope that you, if you get Trapco form, it's really useful to you. You use it and you like it. And uh, good luck in the future, guys. So, uh, yeah, please, on this video, uh, feel free to comment, rate, subscribe. And, yep, yeah, bye, guys.